The rooms that we've moved athletes in today are clean and ready and we are comfortable that everybody is safe. Uh, what we need to do now is keep up the pace with the staff that we're working with in the village to make sure that everything is ready uh, for when our next wave of athletes move in tomorrow and the next day and the next day. Yeah, we now have uh, almost 120 of our team have arrived with the second flight arriving today. But I was very high, they're absolutely delighted with the village. They've only just gone in for accommodation and, uh, and that's, that's pretty good too. Um, certainly the dining, the international zone, the training facilities are all wonderful and our athletes are just looking forward to uh, taking part in what we hope will be a great games and win medals for Scotland. Okay, so did you have to do any cleaning? The uh, that, that was all last week, you know, we, we, we inherited a tower block that um, we couldn't wait for other people otherwise we couldn't have brought our team here so, so we did it ourselves but we're, we're past that now. Our accommodation block is very good and uh, we're really happy with what we have. Uh, we have participated in such games in some other countries whereby the facilities are even poorer than what we are seeing here. The Indian government has assured us that they will safety, security and comfort provide and I am confident that the Indian government would do that. So there is no extra demand for extra No need of any more complaints. Let me say that we have done now whatever we have to do and uh, now uh, there's not much scope for improvement. I think uh, all the people I've met have uh, enjoyed the Games Village. They are seeing that everything, whatever problem they had earlier, that has been sorted out. And I don't think there are any more complaints. So it's time for them to keep quiet? No, not time to keep quiet. They've got uh, excellent uh, facilities. I don't think there's been a Games Village like that anywhere else. And they're all quite happy about it. We've got no problems, all the athletes are coming in straight into the room, so at this point in time there's no issues with accommodation and it's all, all systems go from our point of view. Now there's been a snake found under the bed in one of the South African rooms, are you starting to look under the beds in the Australian rooms? Oh, I think we're okay from a snake point of view, yeah, we're Australians, we're used to uh, dealing with the most venomous snakes in the world, so a couple of snakes is not going to be an issue for us. We do have, you know, this medical staff here that'll take any of those um, unusual issues on. Yeah, yeah, so. I don't know. Do you like that?